Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use DipTrace PCB design software to import the Gerber file generated from Advanced Design System, the ADS, and design the full-fledged PCB of your two-layer board. So first of all, what you should do is that in your ADS, suppose this is the layout for your coupler or any other element. You go here in the file and export that as your Gerber file. So you go here and go to Gerber and drill and make sure that import that in millimeters. Okay, that is the standard unit that we normally work in. So just make sure that you have chosen this uh, as your output unit. Once you have done that, you just browse to the location where you want to save it and drop down to that menu and just click hit this OK and it will export the file, okay? So the first step always is to generate your Gerber file in millimeter units from your ADS. Once you have done that, you go here in your dip trace launcher, so start dip trace and start directly the PCB layout of the dip trace launcher from the dip trace launcher. And once it open up, once it uh, PCB layout of dip trace it starts, the first step you should do here is to view and check the units. So the unit, make sure that it is millimeter. Once you have done that, you are now ready to import that Gerber file. So suppose um, I, well, first of all, file import and Gerber. And suppose I, I had saved this file, the con file, the top layer file that you generated from ADS. So I kept it on my desktop PCB folder dip trace example. So suppose this is some con file or the Gerber file that I generated from ADS. So you descend down to this menu and you go here and start this. Once you, so this is a, some different element, not the coupler, it is Wilkinson power divider. But irrespective of what that design is, this is how you import your ADS uh, Gerber file to the this dip trace. Now, before you click on this import, you just have to map this layer. So the, the layer that we got from ADS is con.gbr, right? Con Gerber file. So that's the top layer. So ADS or DipTrace calls that layer as the top layer. So I will map the ADS layer as the top layer of this um, DipTrace. So I'll call this as a top. Okay, so this is very important to step here to do that. Once you have done that, just say okay, import. So now you have this um, on top layer. This is the metal or the Wilkinson power divider top layer, right? And in micro strip, you know that you, you should have the uh, drop down. You, sorry, you should have this as like, you know, the top layer and then the ground layer is intact ground plane. The bottom layer is intact ground plane. So the first thing that you should do here is to measure the length and width of this module. So to that end, what you do is you go here in the measure, you measure this, and that is the width of this or the height of this module around this, like you can see the bottom left corner around 49.682, bottom left corner right there in that corner. So that's what that is. And then this one is um, this much. So around 38 point something. Okay, so uh, that, that's the dimension of this. But remember, when we are making the uh, this board, our plan is to cut it from like this. It, it goes from around this edge like that and then comes here. And then on this side, we want to leave some space. So if you want to leave some space on this side, maybe if you know to get, uh, you know, normally like, you know, when you have transmission line, you leave some space here and then that will also help you write something, some comments if you want to. Normally you don't cut it, you know, right there, of course, you know, so because you will have fringe effects and whatnot. So normally you don't do that. And there is also fabrication point of view. There is a limit to how close you can get to the middle lines. So suppose that this is what the, you know, we have decided. So what we will do is that we know the height of this. So height is around, you know, 49.682. Uh, so what I will do is I will add around, you know, how much that height is from here to up to this point. I will add around 0.2 millimeter around like you know up there i will leave some space here of 0.2 millimeter and then on this side also 0.2 millimeter how how much space you have to leave generally you can find that in the fabrication house capability but suppose this is where we wanted to cut like around 0.2 okay and then here also we want to leave 0.2 
So let's say that total dimension that we have come up with is around, you know, 51, 51 millimeters by 51 millimeters. So first of all, what we are going to do is we go here in placement and let's put the board points, click on board points and then create a rectangular block. And if, if the meaning of all that I'm doing is not clear, you know, just hold on it. Everything will become clear how I'm deciding everything. So, uh, around, I'll say, uh, 51 or I can, because I have to take 0.2 millimeters margin up there. So whatever that length is at 0.2 meter below and 0.2 meter up there. So that is around four, you know, 0.4 millimeter meter extra of length and then create this. And then you click on this one. So whenever you want to move anything, just create on this default mode. And then what you can do is you can, you know, bring it here. Oh, that is just too much maybe. So I can just go ahead and edit or or if you have decided to, you know, just choose that, you can choose that like that. Okay, so just make sure that it is just not too far because, you know, you're going to put your SMA connectors so around 0.2 mm is fine. Okay, so you do the calculation. I'm just showing you the example. Just do your calculation and make sure that, you know, this gap is around 0.2 mm here and 0.2 mm here. And then here also you have around 0.2 mm. So suppose this is the gap. If you are not able to move this to clo closely, you can use the you know, mouse wheel button to zoom in and then move this uh, like, like so. So you see how what I have done here, I have typed in 0.05. For example, if it is something, you know, by default, I will not be able to move too close to this, you see? So what you can do is you can type in here, I want a grid size of 0.05, so 0.05 millimeter. And then I have more finer, um, grid size and I can, you know, I should be able to move it, you know, close to this, but, you know, leave some gap here. That's a good idea. And I'll talk to you about more about in this, in, in the class about how to go about this. So once you have done that, so this is your, your board boundary. Okay. So to put a board boundary, like, you know, around which you are going to cut this board, you just go to the uh, object and board points. And then here you can, you know, type in the, uh, the uh, the vertices of all these points but i find it you know it is more just make more sense to create a rectangular kind of you know, the board and just put the height and width by measuring doing the measurement and those things and then you can always come here just make sure that you are in this mode default mode and then you can move these points a bit you can go here and move these points so like for example like this but i can do control z to undo that so so you you can use basically your mouse to move these points and you know make finer adjustments if you wanted to later on so this is the board boundary okay now i want to put the uh, metal at the ground plane so i can just go here from here to layer two or i can just type in two in my keyboard and then to put ground metal pour what you do is you go here and say board place copper pour or you can also do that from here place copper pour so what you do is you click on that and then you put a square around that you should have some space but it is okay you know whatever is not February they cannot fabricate for you like you know they can just omit that but the basic idea is that you go here and just put all those points here uh, where did it go? Zoom in. Let's go here. And then go here. And then just say, okay, copper pour. So that's my copper pour. So as I said, in microstrip technology, on your bottom plane, you have intact ground plane. And that's what you see here. And if you type in one, or you can click here and you go to, you know, layer one so that was your layer two if you type in layer two and if you type in one that's layer one the top layer so this completes your board design and all that you have to do the import but remember that if you import this you will have the solder mask and normally in rf and microwave pcbs we don't want uh, we don't use solder mask um, so if you want to get rid of you want to send this file to the manufacturer and you, if you don't want your solder mask what you can do is you can put a mask layer so uh, what I can do is I can go here and select this. Oh. I can escape. Then I can select from here and say top, 
top mask. So I don't want any solar mask here. So I will put a mask layer. So I will click top mask and then go here and select this rectangular box. And then again, just like you know before, you click here and then you can draw your click here. So that way you have put your top solar mask. And then similarly here, you can go and select the uh, so click outside so that that is that rectangle is not selected and you can go to layer two you don't have to go to layer two but it is a good idea and then select the uh, bottom mask layer and then again repeat the same thing sorry so bottom last mask layer and then again you make sure that you are here that that shape shows up grab this rectangular part from here and then again put the bottom mask layer that's it so layer one and layer two okay so bottom mask layer means that you know all of these things will be masked off when they are putting the uh the the uh, solar mask so you won't have any green material here or whatever solar mask color is then you also want to show the name and those things if you wanted to and some put some image if you want to your logo you can click on this and put a logo here for vmi but suppose i just wanted to put some text i will click on this text and click here somewhere and type in say for example md uh, and then enter and i will type in uh, uh, let's say you know the uh, blc and um, revision one or whatever you wanted to put so all, all those comments that you want to put here remember oh, sorry i put that on the bottom mask ah, let me see if i can grab that and put this on uh, let me see i can just okay let me erase that for now let me go here and put on uh, where is it top silk for example for now i'm doing top silk but you see i don't have because i don't have solar mass so i cannot have top silk so i can just type in for example md and uh, board and uh, or sorry blc the branch line coupler and uh, whatever i wanted to write here uh, revision one and just an example okay so revision one and oh i have that in two lines but no problem so what i do is now i click here and just make sure that everything is selected then i will change this to signal layer why I change this to signal layer? Because remember, I don't have ability because once I don't have the solar mask, I don't have ability to write the silk screen and those things. So I, I'm essentially going to engrave this in terms of metal. Okay, so you see this color of the metal and this color of metal. So this will be written with the color. Okay, so I can also go here and click on properties before I do anything. And I can type in, do that in second line, for example, and then go to font setting and make, make it the smallest. Like, you know, suppose I, they can do the six mils. So I can just go here six and very small layer and make sure that it is on the signal layer. Okay, so I just want to keep that away from the metal. So I can also put that here, for example. Uh, if I want to, I just don't want this to interact. And you can do the simulation of this, like in ADS, if you wanted to, to see that any if there is any impact. But this is how you should you should do it. Always put this on the top, the signal layer or the middle layer, because we don't have the the solar mass. So this this completes this. Uh, this, uh, you know, importing how to import the um, ADS files here in DeepTrace and how to, uh, you know, generate the layout. So you can also see this in 3D, I believe. Let me see if there is view 3D. Okay, let me see how it looks. Wow, not bad. So, so this is what you should, uh, you know, give it to to your manufacturer. And from here, like you know, you should save it, of course, like you know, save it. But but I will not do it now. But what I can do is I can export this as Gerber file. And this is what you will, whatever you are exporting from this PCB, uh, DeepTrace PCB software, that's what you will upload on GLC PCB or other manufacturer post. So I can just click, you know, export all, and uh, just make sure that it is uh, metric and export all and then maybe uh, if you have the drill files in some of the design that we'll do in the future we'll have the drill files as well so uh, you can you know just zip everything here or you just zip um, everything um, so i have this project gerber file and you can rename if you wanted to and just uh, 
if you wanted to preview some pre preview some of these layers you can just click here top layer and preview and it will show you how it will look like and it's a good idea to test all those layers right you know but we have only two layer the top and the bottom so this is how it looks like uh, close and um, that's it so what you do is you go here in that folder and you have this project Gerber file and you can upload this on GLC PCB because they can accept the trace Gerber file zip file so you just upload it there and see if you know it matches with the the board that you want to have and this completes how this tutorial how to use dip trace to you know a, a import the ADS generated two layer board file and you know map it to the different layer and how to add the mask layer especially because we don't not want uh, any solar mask here and once we have done that we do just go here file and import and import it in the uh, you know as a zip file and then you know upload it to your manufacturer of your choice uh, well, I hope uh, this tutorial was uh, useful and now I'm going to uh, say goodbye. Yeah, I'll